So, it feels like kids are trying so hard to act more adult now. Um, it really transcends historical trends from my observation. And I hate to condescend when it comes to kids for two reasons. Uh, I'm only about like 10 years older than them, if not less than that. And I also have grossly visceral memories of what it felt like to be that age. Um, and I'm speaking on this as, you know, I'm a substitute teacher now. So I'm speaking on this from observations of being in the classroom with these kids. Um, also, I know that I've blocked out a lot of memories from that time of my life, uh, particularly middle school. So, but I still have diaries from that time and remember what I was feeling. Of course, with technology, it was easier to have inappropriate scandals, in my opinion, because when I was about 13 or 14, a girl's nudes were spread around the school. That was like a huge thing. But, you know, at least we weren't smoking or having sex, at least as far as I'm aware. But even with makeup trends and how social media was changing the perception of the self when I was that age, we all still felt like kids. It's so surreal now, like I said, as a substitute teacher, when kids that would for sure be bullying me if I was their age now. Tell me unprompted about body counts or the, their vapes or smoking, you know, the drama that they have that feels ripped out of a telenovela. Like, I don't like the idea of a moral panic, especially when older generations have always led this kind of fear mongering when it comes to children and their hobbies and their interests. But it's really clear to me how desperately the kids that I've interacted with want to be adults. They try emulating what they see adults doing on social media. The seventh graders in particular that, you know, they're 12, 13, they come with full glam makeup, bags full of high-end product. But I'm serious, like, there are kids coming in with Dior lip oil and designer product, which is insane to me. They're like 12. <laughs> And they talk about like sex and cheating, even though most of their dates are still them just holding hands in school. So they lust over designer goods as well and talk about gifting each other with like Prada for birthdays or like for Valentine's or whatever. And I, I really understand that this age is a pivotal period in personal development and interpersonal development. But it feels like this generation, because they're the first all digital generation, is defined by consumerism. They were born into a world of ads and social media. So it's all they know and when I talk with them, it's all they use as a frame of reference. So, even fifth graders, they'd be like, Miss, what's your personal aesthetic? Like, you guys are 10. Why are you talking about this? But it's hard to break them out of it because they were born into a world of like five websites and endless ads and idealized lifestyles. So, I can't blame them for, you know, like every generation before them emulating the adults around them and i don't like you know purity culture and fear surrounding gen alpha but i think adults need to stop blaming kids for being kids and start holding themselves accountable for what they're pushing onto the kids it's the fact that their lives are so defined by what they're seeing on social media that i think is very telling of what the adults are letting the kids do what the adults are pushing onto the kids and the culture being perpetuated by adults and on that note, I think it's important for all of us to kind of be more mindful of what kids are going through and help give them avenues to feel like kids because they're so desperate to be adult. Just helping them feel like it's okay to be a kid instead of aspiring to be grown. And that extends also to ourselves as people, I think, to just tend to the things that we didn't get to do as kids, whether it be something as silly as dyeing our hair or buying a Lego set. Just things that make you feel like you're tending to yourself and help you feel like you're living, you know what I mean? I think even something as silly as like skipping around the house or laying in the grass uh, to watch the clouds just helps you become more grounded and helps you connect more with kids. And that, that's that's ultimately where this come from, come, or this all is stemming from, I guess, is the fact that I, I also really just don't like the vitriol towards kids, being like, I hate kids, whatever. Like, there's just this weird 
lack of understanding when it comes to children, I think, and how they act when it's like people just apparently forget that they were that age. And people forget what it feels like to be that age, to want to be understood, to want to be treated like a person. And kids are ultimately little people. They just, you know, they need extra time to kind of have any awareness of things. And they just need to have their hand held for a while. And I think by tending to ourselves uh, and attempting to bridge that gap to understand why kids nowadays are feeling this way, uh, we won't be having such like a moral panic, you know what I mean?